fried salmon, waffle fries, and crispy. I'm going to eat this one, actually. Actually, I'm going to eat this. Hey, yeah. What is popping my YouTube family? I am coming back with a short yet sweet little video. I wasn't going to like record this y'all and even post it because I was like, who wants to see me fry fish? But then I realized I be seeing people like fr uh, make grilled cheese sandwiches. And I'm like, if, if, if people want to watch somebody make a grilled cheese sandwich, I'll fry some fish. So you guys, tonight... You ever just had the taste for like one of those just regular, down to earth, nothing major meals? I just got the taste for some fried salmon. So these is like little salmon fillets. Some of them tore apart, you guys. Let me see. Some of them tore apart because um, when I was unthawing it, it probably, the water was like... Um, probably too warm but I could have swore I used like just lukewarm water so it is regular look salmon fillets skin on regular and I lightly dusted it with some um, lemon pepper here is my um, fish batter right here and this is the fish batter that I am using today and you really don't need any seasoning to use this um, Andy's uh, fish breader you really don't um, but I just like extra flavor so I went really light with some lemon pepper you could do um, garlic powder or whatever here is my grease and you guys listen who out there uses their grease at least three times before they change it out so after today this grease definitely needs to be thrown out but you guys you can use your grease for at least three fries it's good for at least three fries I don't know about after after that but I am using this grease watch how golden brown my fish comes out so here is my fish we are just gonna dust it dust dust it dust it dust it dust it let me make sure my grease is hot yep Okay, so dust, dust, dust. Y'all, just a regular nice little fish. We having fish and french fries, and then I found, um, look at that. Lay it in, you guys. Let it do what it do. And then I found, um, some, um, battered calamari at the wholesale spot. I found, like, it was, like, frozen battered calamari. Um, calamari went, um, that you're supposed to put in the oven or whatever like beer batter listen we are going quick and easy tonight we are not doing nothing crazy okay next one in salmon is not going to take long at all y'all to fry not at all take your salmon there you go dust it so you guys, I'm going to dust these up, get them in there. I also have a few pieces um, of tilapia, some little tilapia fillets, y'all. So we go dust this up and sorry off the camera is all shaky and stuff because this I'm doing it with one hand because this is so like easy peasy. I was like, I'm not even putting the phone. I'm not even putting the uh, camera on the tripod. We just go. One handed to net, one handed to net. Look at that, dust it. Dust it, dust it. Slap it, flip it, rub it down. Take it, drop it in the grease. So I'm not gonna overcrowd it. I'm just gonna probably, should I do some more? No, I'm probably just gonna leave it just like this, y'all. No, I'm probably gonna add the rest of these, you guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to add them all in because it's like a lot of room in there. Okay, you guys, and then I'll be back to show you guys the next thing that I'm doing. 
Okay, my YouTube family. So I am also going to fry a few um, little thin pieces of tilapia. Got my fish batter right here. But these is the... Um, the calamari that I found and I was at Sam's Club you guys when I found this so it's Budweiser beer batter beer batter calamari so I think this is gonna be pretty good so I was like instead of me frying some fish I'm going to try this tonight and yes you guys I do eat frozen packaged food at times yes I sure do I'm sure go and what I'm debating you guys is if I want to throw this in the grease like and deep fry it because they have like a lot of options right here um where you can do the um conventional oven toaster oven or you can fry it for like a minute so i don't know i think i'm gonna fry it i mean we already have a fried fish let's just go all the way so i think this is gonna pair good with dinner tonight i'm also going to eat some Excuse me, I'm going to cook some um, waffle fries, which is going to be good. And this is what it looks like, you guys. So it came with this honey dipping sauce. I don't think that I'm rocking with this tonight, the honey dipping sauce. I may just put it back in the freezer and save it for something that I want to try it with. I, you know, I don't... I don't know if I could do the uh, calamari with the honey, but this is what the um calamari looks like this is what it's looking like so i don't know you guys i think i'm going to um i think i'm gonna deep fry it i don't know i'm thinking i want to deep fry it and let me just go to the ingredients here so here's all the ingredients on it i mean it looked like it's like legit calamari in it so you know with this package stuff you can never really trust it all the way but here's the ingredients right here I mean it says squid I mean probably with some extra added um, stuff that you don't need but we are definitely going to try it so I love these simple nice quick easy meals I love it so we have in the beer batter calamari waffle fries tilapia and here is our salmon frying up so good you guys I would like swish it around for you guys but you don't want to bother your food because you you might make a mistake and like knock the bread and off so I'm just gonna leave it alone and let it fry it's not gonna take too much longer but y'all know I'm gonna show y'all the finished results come on now y'all already know but it is looking good. Y'all better not be bougie. Y'all better use that grease at least three times as much as y'all pay for that cooking oil. Now, listen, if you cater, now, if you're if you're a caterer, no. If you're catering and you're cooking for somebody or whatever, or you, or you selling food or you cooking or whatever, fresh grease. Fresh grease at all times. This is my family's grease nothing's wrong with it but if you are cooking for a customer you always want to make sure that you're cooking stuff in fresh grease don't know customer want to taste what you didn't cook two days ago for your family that fried chicken that you didn't fry for your uh, family two days ago don't nobody want it don't nobody got time for that so it's frying up beautifully though it's going to be like a bomb little meal get your hot sauce get your tartar sauce get your ketchup get your life so i will be back to show you guys the finished result okay my youtube fam here is my simple but yet it's gonna be bomb diggity dot com dinner so we have that fried tilapia fillets fried salmon waffle fries say crispy i'm gonna eat this one actually actually i'm gonna eat this there you are here is the calamari bomb yo this listen this was a really good buy this came out so dang gone good y'all you know how some packaged food could taste like so artificial and so fake and so crazy these 
bomb. So I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat this one. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat it. So this is dinner, y'all. Should I make a vegetable? Or like some, like a salad? Or like coleslaw? Hail to the gnaw. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Quickity quick video. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.